Do you believe they actually made five levels of this gay ass shit? Yeah, I have pretty much every weapon powered up at this point, and that's pretty rad for what this game has to offer. And I'm pretty sure I get fucked by uh, Gawain over there. Ugh. And as though it's not hard enough, they throw regular enemies at you. You know, come on. Have mercy at some point. The only merciful thing about this entire game is the fact that you get to turn it off at any time. I mean, this this rubbish mishmash of different different games and movies. The shameless use of gremlins. The shameless ripping off of Contra to try to make their product look better than it really is. The use of Castlevania hearts. I mean, this this is just complete asshole. Reading a newspaper on a toilet is far more entertaining than this. Yes, I used a lightning bolt and froze, guys. How wonderful. See, at this point, I'm just running out of negative things to say about this game. That is how bad it is. I mean, there just comes a point where something speaks for itself. Like, I mean, what, what the fuck, man? I know this is the final level, but for God's sake, give me a chance. I mean... When you spawn in in other games, you have like two seconds of invulnerability so that you can get your feet on the ground, so that you can, you know, try to make it to the end of the fucking game. No. In this game, when you respawn, you are, you are right there, right for the taking. You're a little kid walking into a big windowless van with free candy scratched into it. That's what you are when you respawn in this godforsaken piece of shit. Your only consolation is that the end level is short. Even in comparison to previous levels, this one is relatively short. Or at least it seemed like it. Maybe by this point I was so... so numb to the world around me that it just kind of happened. And of course, you know this isn't the final boss. God forbid they actually make the final boss easy. No, no. The final boss in this game is one of the most dickless, gay-ass pieces of shit I have ever had the displeasure of fighting against. First of all, look at him. He's a chim-fucking-pansy. And he says all this stupid shit to you that makes no sense, even when you when you measure it against what you learned in the beginning from the inside out scrotum. But really, it's all just a ploy to get you to lower your guard, such as you have. Because once this dude stops talking and you sit baffled by what he was trying to tell you, he comes down and proceeds to do what every enemy in this game does, only much better. This guy uses the exploding blue... This guy uses the exploding blue ladybug semen. And to great effect. And what you don't want is to die. I did, but thankfully they spawned me up above him. Because if you die, and he's down at the bottom of the screen, he will just sit there and rape you. And do it extremely well. He just stands there with his pants unzipped, and when you reappear in the world, you've already got his dick through your eye. But once you beat him, the game's just over. Literally. There's no end. There's no douchebag beginning ending scene, I should say. There's no douchebag ending scene. It's just over. And you feel robbed of your life. <laughs> 